tonight we're looking to meet a girl who wants to yeah have a threesome with us but really just explore with us on a bit of a deeper level and see where we can take things So when I saw Emmy for the first time, it was in Mexico in a volunteer house. I just turned up and she was pretty much naked under a towel, which was, for me, I was like, hmm, nice. And you're pretty cool, calm, collected, are you? Sorry? You're pretty cool. Pretty chilled out. Oh, so why am I nervous? <laughs> Good, thank you. How are you guys? Hi. Nice to meet you. What's your name, sorry? Emmy. Hi. How's your name? Jessie. Jessie, Alex. If I think somebody's attractive, I don't care if it's a man or a female, so I'm bisexual and, um, yeah, I, I just love people. <laughs> Where about you from? Originally, I'm from Finland and I've lived in London for like 18 months now. And what brought you over? Um... <laughs> <laughs> So it's all his fault. <laughs> Come to blame. Unfortunately. <laughs> Moving here, um, for him wasn't it wasn't scary actually because I just felt it, it was right, but it was like the only thing to do. Okay. <laughs> um, so I was married. We'd been together six and a half years. Um, we split up almost a year ago. Because you, you like women as well, right? Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> just checking. Did, you do, did right? He, yeah. did, he, did he not like that side either? No, he was very threatened by it. How have you been after that? Um, making up for lost time. <laughs> <laughs> the most enjoyable thing about having sex with Emmy is is. Uh, just having sex with Emmy, it, it, it's this the whole level of, I don't even know what to call it, um, ecstasy that we can get to with each other just by being conscious is fantastic and it's just, it's like, it's Moorish, we're addicted to it. We've been seeing girls, just girls as well then. Kind of. I can't really tell mm. whether they fancy me or not. You're not used to it because you haven't had to have many years and look at having yeah, girls exactly. looking at yeah, you. Yeah. You know guys because you know yeah. that guy fancy you yeah. to see you. Yeah, and exactly. guys are most, like, just obvious. They anyway. are. Mm. You're so. pretty obvious, though. But is that because you know how to read her, though? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sure. Mm. So You're pretty obvious as well, though. You think? Yeah. <laughs> what makes you say that? I'm curious now. The car's close to my heart, I'm afraid. Oh, I'll I see. Because he's really smooth, doesn't he? Mm. <laughs> you'll see. Back in the day, homosexuality was wrong. Being black was wrong. Lesbians wrong. Women's wrong. Everything's been wrong in the past, but people feel it's wrong because they don't have any knowledge of it, really. They don't understand it. So I think it's very important just to give knowledge and then people can make their own choices. You like her? Yeah. 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 yeah, I noticed that from early on. She hasn't got a side to her. So no, exactly. Mm. You can stop talking about it. Did you say you can stop talking about it? <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> what time is it now? I, d I don't even know. We could go to Ronnie Scott's for a little dance. <gasps> before. Is Ronnie Scott's nearby? Yeah. Can okay. Lovely. Really? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Can we go? That sounds That's like cool. a very good idea. Roll out. I didn't expect to find people that I was so interested in. I could sit and chat with them for hours and it just felt really natural. It was really good. I know she fancied Emmy for sure. Um, I can see that both ways. The girls, it's nice to see them, that little flirting. That, but for us as a couple, I, I think she felt a little bit relieved that there's people out there actually live in a way that she is feeling that she might want to live her life. Regardless of whether I went for a drink with them or whether we all ended up in bed together, I think I think the three of us would have some fun together. So what's the plan, ladies? You want to go for some drinks? I'm down for drinks. I would, yeah. I'd, yeah, I'd really like to. Yeah? Yeah. This is my partner, Nee, and we're looking for a fun, laid-back guy to join us in a threesome. Oh, right. Yeah, how are you? Nee and I have been together for just under two years, and we met 
through a charity boxing event. I was a boxer doing it for charity. And, and I was helping run the, the show. I'm really scared. I know. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're you're right. Right. <laughs> ah, come here. Ooh. Hi. Hi, yeah, you're right, I'm Nikki. Oh, wow, so many tattoos everywhere. <laughs> Basically, Nikki's the first girl that I've been with. So I was with um, a guy at the time. I realised I'd got feelings for her. Um, and so I moved out, <laughs> started <laughs> renting a room somewhere else, and my feelings got stronger for Nikki. So. I'm from uh, Middlesbrough. No oh way! My God. <laughs> yes, way! No. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I live at Durham, so... Dear, well, I've, I've moved about, I've been like a gypsy. Do you know Billingham? Yes. Yeah? yeah. Oh my God, Do you know Billingham? Call, yeah. Oh my God, yeah, you know yeah, Billingham, yeah, you yeah. unfortunate <laughs> bastards. If it was another female, I think I would probably be more jealous. Whereas with another, with a, with a man, it's a turn on. A bit like a real life sex toy. Yeah. Have <laughs> you ever done anything like this? Or invited anybody else in? We've had, how many? We've had a few, About haven't three. Yeah. That's a good number for a threesome. Yeah, it three is. Three threesomes, oh. yeah. In a threesome situation, it's often a bit different to if it was just the two of us. Just because we're a couple doesn't mean that we should solely focus on ourselves and it's, it's only right that it's just as enjoyable for, for the guy as well. I'm quite open and adventurous when it comes to sexuality. I, I always had a high sex drive and I was always willing to try things. But I always feel like you should have that connection with somebody. Oh, yeah. After, yeah. After, you, after, you, well, after you've had sex, you've got to talk to each other. Yeah. You know, you can't just be like, all right, like yeah, just eat, yeah. like it. a takeaway. Yeah. Yeah. People are starting to accept that people in relationships want to do something different and if you're stable in your relationship like we are then we c we can experience that so do you like brandon yeah i like you yeah. yeah. oh, oh. Yeah. i like you too as well group hug you <laughs> <laughs> still being absolutely <laughs> absolutely he's got the same sort of thought process in terms of meeting up with people and getting a rapport and actually building some sort of relationship and not just, you know. One like, bam, thank you, one bam, bam, thank you, bam. <laughs> we have a lot of things in common in terms of the tattoos and I reckon that it'll be uh, a pretty good sexual jam sandwich. He could be in our hotel bed tonight, but yeah. then it depends how he plays his cards. <laughs> I'm so excited, it's like Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Christmas. <laughs> to the hotel. <laughs> I don't think I managed that far. <laughs> no. We're basically looking for a tall, dark, handsome man. But he can't look at us and be like, weird. weird. <laughs> Even though we totally, totally are. are. <laughs> We've never shared a guy before, but we have, you know, got off with the same bloke in the same night. This will be a first time that we actually, you know, share a man in the bedroom. But if he's well attractive, you know what I'm going to get like. I'm yeah. about, I need another glass of wine, yeah, and otherwise yeah, yeah. I won't be able to talk to him. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi, Aiden. Hello. You all right? Oh, wait, we've had a bit too much to drink. Ah, okay. I need to catch up then, I think. My mum would fancy you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is that good or a bad thing? A good thing. Okay. I find it easier to be emotionally vulnerable to you because 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 you are a gay man and you're mm. not gonna hurt me. You're not gonna no. break my heart. Oh. <laughs> so how, how long have you two been together? We're not yeah. together. We're okay. just we're as close as two best friends can actually be. Yeah. Okay. Without crossing the line. Without crossing the line, but we kind of want to cross the line, but we feel as if if we have another guy with us to cross the line, we can, it'll be fine because then we can just we can cross that line. When we get drunk, you know, we have a we have a bit of a good time. We always get off with each other. Things have got you know close to it, but we've never really pushed the boundary because we always get a bit. This is a bit weird. Oh, adding someone else into this equation. <laughs> literally just makes it all banterous then. Yeah, it's just and then a it's joke. it's just funny then. We're like students, like, what do you do? Okay, okay, mm. okay. 
I actually had an interview yesterday, so I've got uh, I start tomorrow morning, actually. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, I kind of, I didn't plan that very well. No. I was just like... You've got a banging story to tell your new co-workers, yeah. though. Yeah, that was a weird date last night. I will know that Amber fancies the guy because she will probably turn to me and give me a cheeky wink or the slight slanted look that she does. And I'll go, okay, Amber's game, I understand. So, Angel, yeah. what are your first impressions of Amber? I think she's pretty fit, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Has she worked her magic? She has. Like, she's got the pulling power, yeah. I don't know how. What about you? Do you have that power? I, oh, I don't know, I don't know. You tell me, do you think I do? <laughs> I mean, pretty attractive. Oh, thank you. Not, not too bad, not oh, too shabby. Oh, thank you. Thank you. George is the most important person to me in my life. Because I don't want a boyfriend, but he gives me all that emotional support that I need. He's just a pretty perfect, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> when you went for a wedding, right, your world fancies you, right? And I was like, and she got this, like, allure. Like, don't she just do it? Don't she just do it somehow? And he was like, yeah, 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 yeah. She's really done that. She's really done that to me. Yeah, I really fancy her, really fancy her. And then he was like, he thought, he thought I was cute, too. He was like, you're all right, you know, you know, you're all right. Okay, can we act normal? <laughs> so, what's happening later? We are going to catch some more drinks. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Yeah. yeah. yeah can yeah. we cheers on that plan? Can we, we cheers, cheers on that on plan? plan? I definitely sexually get with them, both of them, because I think they're both physically attractive. We're not saying never, but we're not we're not just we're not saying tonight. Not tonight. Not, not tonight. tonight. After another date, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I think it'd be quite interesting to see them again. It's it's a very delicate situation, shall I say, to see whether. It progresses from banter and having a laugh to enjoying ourselves. <laughs>this is Phil from our date tonight we're just looking for a really relaxed experience someone we get along with hopefully find attractive and that we can all just see where things go from there we've been together just over 10 years now uh, 10 and a half we've lived together run a business together as well as our own jobs so it's pretty full-on relationship don't you can't get drunk I can cope with my drink, you can't cope with the drink. Did I get it? Oh! Hi! How are you? I'm good. How are you? Alright, we're back. Nice to meet you. How are you? Oh, which we were going to Hi, you're right. I would describe myself as pretty standard straight. I'm just not attracted to odd guys, so, <laughs> so it works nicely. I definitely say bisexual. More relationship-wise, it's always been men, that type of thing. But for fun, I always find women attractive. I've always known I'm attracted to them. Have you come down today? Yeah, my little girl, so I dropped her off with my mum. How old? She's three. Um, we've got a four and a half year old. Naughty age, mind, isn't it? Yes. yes. <laughs> the point where they just realise they can push a little bit. Yeah. It's hard to differentiate between work, family life and couple time. It's always you something have to, to talk about. Yeah, you have to work out which part you're going to do, what times, a bit of planning's more involved. But it means they're special when we do get those times to go and do things together. Have you dated, have gone on a date with a couple before? <laughs> No. No. <laughs> no. No. But um, <laughs> no, I guess I love it. It's really nice. I think I was with my daughter's dad for like five years. And then like I met a girl and I thought, actually like let's give it a let's yeah. give it a like a will. Yeah, yeah, like I'm sick of men. <laughs> and then I give it a go, but I don't think I could 100% be with a girl forever, and then 100% be with a man forever. You still get the reserved glances, the looks when you're out, especially if we're out in a club and we pull a girl, there's a lot of looks of what's going on there type things. So do you approach everyone? No, no, no it's me. This is, this is the yeah. I'm the only one. 
without any pressure. I'm quite happy to say that I'm punching above my weight class. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm perfectly comfortable with it. Like, it is incredible. <laughs> I'm, a very I'm a very lucky guy. I'm comfortable yep. when I'm in a conversation with people, like if it's a date situation, but I, it's the approaching people, it's just really... I don't know. You just, you just, you've not had the practice. Girls would be much more open to a girl going and talking to them, whereas in our situation, it's normally either us or more you taking the lead. Yes. So it'd be nice if I could go out there and be the person to go and start talking. Without even speaking to Rebecca, I can say that we're pleasant with some <laughs> <laughs> We had that little God. conversation of what, what we were expecting, and you've gone above the expectations. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> shall we move on and go for some more drinks? Yeah. Find another bar. Nice yeah. Are you yeah. happy to do that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool. I could actually definitely say this ending up in the bedroom because Bex is so fit and feels actually really, really nice. So, potentially, yes. Like, maybe. Yeah. As soon as we got talking and we found out that we had so much in common, it was, um, it was a relief that we were actually going to get along with the person Definitely. that we'd be matched good, with. good impression straight away, and you oh. good chance of it working and being a really nice date, so. Good. I think I'm a really good date, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why not do it? It sounds like fun. It could be fun. If there are three yeah. people into each other, why not do it? I think yes. it would be stupid not to. I'm Pedro, um, I'm Brazilian, 28. This is Matt, my husband, and he's 30, 31? Mm, 21. Call it that. <laughs> 29. <laughs> he's from Poland and he's a musician. Wait. Hello. Hi. Hi. Pedro. Hey, Pedro. Yeah. What's your name? Matt. Matt, I'm Jay. Jake. Nice you to you. Where are you from, Pedro? I'm, I'm from Brazil, actually. Oh, shut yeah. up. I'm from Brazil, too. Really? Yes. Oh, that's this so is, weird. Is where are you come from? I'm Polish. That's good. I know some words in Polish. Uh, I bet, I bet you do. <laughs> I bet you do. He's definitely more extroverted than I am. And I think we complement each other quite nicely. Of course, like that creates really potent arguments as well, but that's part of it. How long are you guys together for? Three and a half marriage. You were actually married? Yeah, we actually yeah, married. Actually. Oh. I was married too. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. I was married for like four years. And yeah, so traumatic. <laughs> really? Yeah. You know how Brazilians are. We were together just like cuddling and, and we started talking about life and we were like, you know what, I could be with you every day of my life. Like, that's that's what I want. And then he said like, the same and it was, yeah, we took it from there. <laughs> it wasn't like really a proposal. It was kind of like a, yeah. I'm a musician, and but... Well, you, you look... Musician, <laughs> you do music. You look like a musician as well. You, you look, look like, like a, a like musician. A I was in a club. Like I was in a club. Singer. This guy came to me and said, oh, "You want to be part of my band?" <laughs> <laughs> I have a strong feeling that if we had a three-way relationship, we'll definitely not be an issue trust-wise. You know, I. I don't think that is possible given how, how we communicate and how yeah. we talk about difficult things. <laughs> so, would you guys tell me how do you get into this tree something? Sorry? We, he is asking um, how we got into the tree something. Yeah. What makes you have someone else if you two are so good together? Like, I don't feel they need nobody else there. We're very, like, we're very loving and sharing. Um, we, we really like that kind of stuff and if we both fancied someone mm -hmm. it'd be really nice to have this this thing going on. It's not that there's something missing, it's that it's like... Exactly. It's like, if there can be something more, why not? I think that separation of love and sex is, is, is quite tragic, really. Because sex is a, is a joyful thing, it's a beautiful thing. And we should embrace it, really. So yeah, are you guys going somewhere after here? Oh, you've got plans? Um, not really, I'm really tired. <laughs> so yeah, just me too, to and I have to work tomorrow very early. It was really nice, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Ew.
Thank you very much. Hi, nice to meet you. I was asking him, why are you here for? And he was like, oh, because I have so much love to give. And I was like, what? Get a dog, you know? <laughs> Threesome is not about <laughs> sharing a love. That's not what I think. He, he did say what, what the majority of people think, mm -hmm. which is like, mm -hmm. oh, maybe if you're looking for a third person, maybe you're not really in love with each other. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was, it was really important for us to show that actually, no, like we absolutely love each other. We don't need a third person. We just would like to, That's you know? Cool. I don't think they were looking for anything, honestly. I was looking for something. I always looking for something. What we're looking for in a threesome partner is sort of kinky, nerdy, playful girl. And yeah, depending on types, but somebody like us. Mm -hmm. We're both extroverts, we're and both loud. eccentrics, we're both, yeah, loud. And we wear our hearts on our sleeves, so, you know, be it our sexuality, our political views, or absolutely anything, they will find out within an hour. She has to be at least somewhat open-minded about sexuality, about uh, the sexual revolution, even, and not ashamed and not... Hi. <laughs> Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, Max. Pleasure to meet you, darling. What's your name? Michaela. We love the fun of having a threesome and of enjoying a girl yeah. together. But that doesn't mean that we don't love each other and that we aren't committed to each other and mm. that we don't want to spend the rest of our life together. You know, it, 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 they're separate things. Are you American American or? Mixed? I am American American. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, my grandparents are from Italy. I'm Irish. And I'm Italian. 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 Italians. <laughs> really? Yeah. Really? Where in Italy did you live? Just north of Milan oh, okay. uh, in the like lake region. Yeah. So I don't know if you know like Lake Garda, that kind of Yeah, I do. That lake, Lake Maggiore, which is nearby. I don't think there's anybody else more perfect for me than Kira. Also, who would feed me, you know? Like yeah, how true. would I how would I eat if I didn't have you? My finances would be in utter disarray. <laughs> But I don't know how, how old you are, I'm assuming 22, 20, 21 ish? 20. 20, 20 really? turning 21. I'm, I'm 28 and Alex is 30. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're old. We're well old. <laughs> yeah. It depends on what your gauge of old is. Yeah. Oh, it, just a number. <laughs> yeah, just a number. Yeah, yeah we, we spend at least two hours a week coloring in. Have you seen the adult coloring books? Yeah, and that's a big thing now. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I haven't done it. I'm surprised I haven't done it yet because <laughs> it sounds right up my alley. When she really likes somebody, like, wow, okay, I want her. It's the way she starts being and her voice even goes down a couple of octaves and like, it sounds a little bit deeper and the way she moves or the way she'll stand up, there'll be a bit more flair to it as she's mm -hmm. definitely trying to sort of peacock almost. So you said you're doing um, the anthropology of like gender and, and sexuality. Yeah, kinship, yeah. sex and gender. Yeah. It's That's called. so interesting. Yeah, I, 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 ran, I kind of ended up in the course pretty randomly um, because I was late for another class. So I was <laughs> like, oh, so let's sign up for this new class. It was something that I was always interested in, but um, it wasn't until recently that I really delved into the subject. You know, seeing Kira across from a party flirting with somebody else, be it a man or a woman, it's, yeah, she, she can flirt or whatever she wants. I mean, it's just flirting. Well, you know, at the end flirting. of the day, yeah. the person that I want to be with is you. She is gorgeous. And a curvy brunette. And a curvy brunette. Yeah. <laughs> somebody is getting a bouquet and a basket full of muffins. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna say I've had I've had a really good time. I think you're amazing. I'd love if we went on somewhere, had a drink somewhere afterwards. If you yeah. would be interested in that, I think you I think you're really charming. You have a great smile. So a great smile, really. <laughs> and it's a really nice place near London Bridge. So I guess fairly close to where you yeah, are. Yeah, that would be awesome. All right. Shall we? Let's do it. I have done three-way kind of stuff before, but never in the sense of going out and pursuing that. So uh, it was interesting, but they were very great people and I would like to meet them again. She walked in and I was like, is that her? And then it was her and I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, she's exactly what we yeah. really wanted. Yeah, yeah, bubbly, absolutely. curvy, bubbly. like really clearly comfortable in herself. I mean, you never really know in this in this type of situation. I've never been in this situation before, but 
I think that I got a general view that they, they fancied me, and I hope so. <laughs> place just around the corner, actually. Oh, nice place. Good drinks.